Okay, so antibiotics block specific metabolic pathways which are found in bacteria, which are prokaryotic cells, um, but these metabolic pathways are not found in eukaryotic cells. Now, there are in fact two kinds of drugs which affect the growth of bacteria. One of them shown here is a bacteriostatic drug. Now, what this will do is it will stop further growth of the bacteria once you add the agent, but when you remove it, the bacterial growth continues. So you haven't actually killed the cells, you've just stopped the growth while the drug is present. So the other kind of drug is one which we call bactericidal, and this will in fact kill the microbes, so the number of cells decreases immediately. Now in the case of either of these drugs, uh, it's going to be useful to the immune system because the growth of the pathogen, the bacteria, is stopped and then the immune system itself will be able to kill it. Insofar as how they actually stop the growth of the bacteria, um, the antibiotics are going to be toxic to them because they will tackle parts of the prokaryotic cell that are unique to the prokaryote. So I'm indicating those here. So that would be the cell wall, for example, the ribosomes, which we call a 70S in a prokaryote, and enzymes, which are just specific to the bacteria. I think to finish this up, it's important to stress that the antibiotics are going to be effective against the bacteria, but not against viruses, because viruses will use a host cell to reproduce, and the antibiotics will not affect the metabolic pathways of the host cell that the virus uses.